role of business in society is complex. It's multifaceted and it's evolving. Our aim is to shed light on this topic, to provide insights and perspectives that will assist you in your field of work. We're about to have the sixth general elections in South Africa, free and fair general elections. And democracy is for us and we are for democracy and we've shown the world. We've had great leaders, we've had leaders who are not so great, we've had leaders who are part great and part not so great. But that's the nature of democracy. It's horrible the levels of corruption we have in this country. But what I get the light from is how our institutions are kicking in and our constitution is working. So I'm not saying thank you corruption because you're giving our constitution a chance to shine. But I'm saying thank you, the Constitution, the South African people. If you look at collaboration, it's working together with common goals. So we need to start by having common goals. But if we have different goals, if we have different perspectives, if we have different areas that we want to talk about and not collaborate, we're not going to get that impact. And I think this is why we're saying if we have this association, it actually gives it that impetus where we bring people together to talk together. We've got to find a way to, to uh, break this deep valley, this neck of the tortoise um, that, that keeps uh, poorer kids from accessing good, uh, good education. And I think that that's where uh, partnerships are so crucial. Um, government has a role in terms of incremental development of teachers, professional development, etc. The other option is to say, well, let the private sector do it and uh, simply set up uh, a private independent schools um, and start to get a drain out of the public system. Um, we know that both of those options are, are destined for disaster. Um, so we have no option but to find, uh, find a way of achieving a true public-private partnership for, uh, for education. Those collaborative efforts um, between, between the state really seeing the value of research, commissioning it, taking own ownership of it to really inform evidence-based policy, that starts a long time before that, that moment that ignites when there's this collaborative effort between researchers and the state together. It really requires building trust. I think if I can use the example of the most recent project where we are in partnership with the Department of Education in the Eastern Cape, what was very important to start that conversation was for us to go to the Eastern Cape not with a prescriptive strategy of what we wanted to do. So the conversation started with the department by saying, we have been in your um, province for so many years, and this is what we have done. Um, what is your strategy for the next five years? And so in that conversation, what came up was that part of what they wanted to do was to train and improve the capability of circuit managers in how they support schools, which spoke to what is also important to us as All Mutual, which is improving leadership. So immediately we then found a common goal. So at the King Committee, our plea is for good governance, manage your reputation, Ethical leadership, I think, critical. Everything happens and it starts and it ends with critical uh, with ethical leadership. If you don't have et ethical leadership, everything fails. As South Africans, we need to understand ourselves. Do we have a common goal? If I, if I was to ask a question in this room, what sort of country do we want to live in? Do you think I'd get the same answer? If I asked what country are we, would I get the same answer? I wouldn't. So how are we even going to have a conversation around media and what it is and what PR should be doing and what you know, comms should be having? How are we even going to do that if we can't have a conversation around what kind of nation do we want to be? As we do this work, we realize that policies, system mechanisms are not the panacea to enabling our organization to live up to their vision. What we do need is the creation of the culture. We do need the creation of the ethical culture. We need to be focused consistently on the environment that supports 
the development of alignment to what actually gives effect to that vision. And that cannot be done without focusing on people and taking people on an internal journey of transformation in order for the people who come in to do the work that is supposed to be transforming people's lives to bring their transformed selves and to be effective in that way. We would like to announce that we will be introducing in partnership with Trilog what we now call the MTN Annual NGO Excellence Awards. I think true transformation happens when you can give people access to the economy. The Global Compact is a worldwide initiative with over 12,000 members around the world. And we are super well connected with a huge network of experts in all kinds of fields related to sustainability. And we help companies to practice and promote sustainability by mapping, aligning, delivering locally to meet or the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So what is innovative financing? It's a way for us to look at how we can use different forms of financing to merge, develop, and drive develop different types of outcomes. But the thinking has to be different and strategic. It cannot just be about grant making and donations. And, and, and that's what I've learned as well in impact investing. It's uncomfortable. It takes a lot of people with very different expertise. But when we find these innovative fun, funding mechanisms, platforms, instruments, bonds, whatever you want to call it, it allows you to be the best that you can be with the skill sets you have. And all you need to do is find the, the line to join the dots because they exist. We call it catalytic because it's basically transformative. It, it, it does more than simply the direct investment would suggest. You, 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 you're mushrooming, that, that money is mushrooming and, and quite often creating a market effect so others can follow. So nonprofits might expect that government's role is to cover their core operations, Government's expectation might be that nonprofits should only be um, applying for funding or for costs that are specifically cost recovery, whereas their, their operations at core are meant to be sustainable some other way. For me, when I look at relationships between nonprofits, corporates, and SMEs, because that's how nonprofits talk, okay? The word transparency infuriates us because we deal with people that cannot be transparent. We deal with people that are being abused, that are being raped, that are being killed. We are the ones that cannot be transparent with our loved ones when we get home. And then we can't even be transparent with our government or our other donor to say, can you please help us pay for operational costs? Because our very donors are saying to us, you are not allowed to be transparent enough to warrant earning a salary because we're not gonna pay for operational costs. The Abalobi Fisher app is an important and fundamental beginning of a fisher who works, who's working with Abalobi, whereby fishers log their catch as well as their expenses and sea conditions on that particular day. This tool is a game changer for, for a sector that up until now has either been on paper or has been completely re recordless. Fishers now have a digital record of their expenses and are better able to see and understand their income and saying these are some of the challenges and then giving the community the space to say what they think should be the first three problems that need to be resolved. Um, and there they were making a list of what those problems are there to go and put their vote there. Um, and that's the problems that the joint committee and um, SASA would be working on to try and resolve the problem. 
So Zlato is a digital rewards platform or rather an incentive marketplace, uh, an impact marketplace where people can decide what it is that they want to do and what it is they want to care about. So a young person like Edwina can decide, I'm going to go to class and because I am learning, I can be rewarded for the, for the things that I learned. And then with my rewards, I can buy actual things from actual stores which I can take home to my mother. It is Zlato! Yeah.